savage skin, lava skin, and vampire skin, but now we've got the undead skin. I'm not entirely sure why this came out. Am I happy it came out? <laughs> Absolutely. I've been hoping for new skins in Stick War Legacy for, I can't even imagine. I, I don't even remember. Oh my goodness. All of these are gonna cost 2,000? Oh no. Do we have any chests? We gotta see. Oh, we got five chests. Okay. We're gonna unlock these chests to see if we can't pop some skeleton skins. So let's hope for the best. N uh, well, golden archer's not bad. I'm really, really hoping we can get at least one. Because 2,000 gems a piece, like for each skin, is really expensive. I thought it was like $2,000 for the entire set, but no. We're not that lucky. No luck. Okay, that was all the chests we could muster. But this is, this is big. When you get the last hit with that skin under user control, that unit will spawn back as deads and they'll convert to your team. And then when your units die, they'll spawn back as zombies. This might be the most powerful skin I've seen. And I want to see, oh my goodness. These guys look incredible. The skins just get better and better. Look at it. He looks like these guys kind of remind me of like Warhammer 2, the Tomb King. Like, especially this one. He's He's wearing a freaking royal headdress. All the other ones were witches' hats. This one's like it's just. Oh my gosh, man! Is his is his head like blue? Is he? What's going on here? Now I have enough gems to purchase one of them, and if I had to get one unit, since I I don't really do a lot of user control, it would be this guy, the sword wrath. So what we're gonna do is convert everybody else into leaf skins, so that all of them are cheap. In case I do need them. I mean, that's 2,000. So like, let, 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 let's look at this. 2,000 gems is 20 bucks, right? 18, 18 bucks. That's pretty crazy. They're definitely, definitely expensive. So what we want to do then is try the zombie strategy in a tournament. Now, Sword Wrath build 20% faster. We're definitely going to want that because all of our units, we're going to be completely reliant. Oh, barricades. Okay. On our Sword Wrath. So we definitely want to upgrade them and then our miners as much as possible. And we're going to just try to produce these guys. Castle Archon, and we want two gold per second passive. Not that we, we might not even need it. One Sword Wrath reinforcement per upgrade. Why not? Okay. We've upgraded the statue we're ready to go so can the skeleton we'll get three miners there's a barricade we can kind of wait although it may have made more sense to get some of these guys out and go on the attack they're pretty cheap right we should be able to pump them out i think with the four miners so here we go our first skeleton skin let's get a couple more and start having them attack they're going sword wrath too now this is one of those things where like is necromancy overpowered well in many games it usually is i'm not entirely sure how they're gonna balance it but then again, like, since this is a single play experience, it's kind of fun to have these kinds of, uh, you know, maybe some skins are overpowered, some are kind of, like, more balanced and vanilla. But, I mean, this is the newest one. It's been how many years since Stick War Legacy? Stick War Legacy, not Stick War 3. Stick War Legacy release skins. Look at these guys. They're gonna be like, okay, we gotta retreat. These guys got zombie powers, and they're just, I mean, we might not even lose anybody. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's see. Now, if I had done user control, they would have turned to zombies, right? Oh, this is gonna be good. And like zombies as in the deads. Have any of my guys died? Yeah, there's one zombie out there. Oh my gosh. Why aren't my little guys doing anything? Well, because they're all dead. <laughs> we got a bunch of dudes wearing bones. If you go out on a battlefield and the other team, this is Sun Tzu said this, and the other team is wearing bones as armor, you're gonna have a bad time. All right, Cruz, gold rush. Team start with 14 miners and a ton of gold. Oh yeah, this one's easy. But okay, so I wanna do this. Look at, I can't reset, I don't think. So let's look at his helmet. Level one, level two, level three, level four. Four. Okay, it, it kind of adds the gems. Now, I would like the classic femur style bone. You know, where it's got the two little round nodges on the end as like the default, but this one's cool too. Oh, that's cool. He-Man style sword. Oh, it's getting better and better and better. Okay, I like that. I like it a lot. I like these skins a lot. Very curious to see what a Spearton does. All right, so then what we want to do is just send our guys out immediately to take over the battlefield. This is a map that like, or this is kind of a mode where like Sword Wrath is kind of what wins you. If you have fully upgraded Sword Wrath, you're going to win. Like, watch what happens. My Sword Wrath is better than his. <laughs> I mean, two hits, he's dead. And then we're just going to start killing everything. Now, let's try to get some kills here to convert yeah there we go since i was user control i got some zombies all right a little bit of user control now i'm using a mouse by the way all right we'll pull our guys back because i, I want to do a little bit more and there there's my zombies so we got two zombies out of it 
We may have lost the sword wrath, but we definitely like killed a few of them. And then what we're gonna do is wait to just build up a critical mass. Oh, I love this map. It always reminds me of Christmas time. And honestly, when a new game comes to Stick War Legacy, well then you know what it is Christmas. I'm trying to get the last hit. It's very, very difficult when you're on an emulator as opposed to just playing the game on mobile. I think I think Crazy J and the development team really, really like it when you play it on mobile because there's so many things that are like you gotta use user control. Now I think Ace Player was saying that there might be a way to like set up keyboard controls. So I've got to experiment with that because that would be really, really good. I know some of these emulators have that ability, right? So Vin, the motorcycle dude, look at that. He's watching. He's watching Stick War on his phone. Super Deathmatch, you're gifted gold every 60 seconds with insta build. Guess what I'm going to do? I mean, sort of, I think we need to try this on like insane difficulty, maybe. That might be what we need to do. All right, that's all I'm going to do is upgrade these guys. All right, I mean, I'm going to get so many guys slow and steady. That's just not my style. Oh yeah? How come I I got whoa okay you got a giant all right so let's see how this works when my guys die they'll make zombies though so they're gonna be very very annoying to kill giants are really really good crowd control units and masses of swords are definitely the definition of crowds <laughs> So we'll see how this works out. They got wizards. We're just gonna, you know what? We're gonna overwhelm them. Oh, wow. And they're gone. There's a few zombies out there. So three. I saw three zombies. His strategy's OP. At least in a normal tournament. Curious about an, a, an insane tournament. I think this would even be good in an insane tournament. But which skin uh, of this do you want to see next? 54 seconds? That was less than a minute. We're already in the final round. Wesley. Wesley's got glasses. You know he's smart. Look at that, man. Now, you see this board game? Do you think there'll ever be a stick war board? board game? I don't know. I'm really excited to announce my upcoming project. I I'm waiting to get closer and closer. I want to have I want to have a demo available before I announce it, essentially. So I can only allude to it right now. But I would definitely say Stick War Legacy was an inspiration in some regard to it because I just I just love stick. I love I love stick. OK, I know that sounds weird. But I love I love stick. So we have ten thousand gold. They're going giants first. You better believe it. They're just they're just the vampiric skin. So they got damage reflect. <laughs> that plays into it. Necromancy is overpowered. Hold on. Where 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 are you doing? There you go. There you go. Okay, good. I didn't want to just overpower you in the final round. I have so many of these guys. Yeah, I'm okay with them dying. We're like we're just death by a thousand cuts to this big giant. Now they have an archidin skin, but I see no archidins out here. And if they have that much gold, okay. I was like, where are the other units? This is actually gonna be a, a fun challenge a worthy opponent here with his giants but every time a sword rat dies since they're low health they die pretty quickly zombie pops up now we just need a necromantic wizard like i feel like his skin hold on let, let's just let's just pause this go to the shop real quick check skins i'm curious user control spawn back as deads units that die yeah like missed opportunity maybe in my opinion, for the wizard to have like, uh, like he spawns one extra minion, right? I don't know. It'd be cool. I don't, I don't Maybe that might be overpowered. Look at that. We actually have 51 units out there. There's so many zombies. Yeah, see, they're spawning in minions now. I want the minions to look like the skeletons that, uh, that, what was they, what was he called? The chaos wizard was called something. All right, we're gonna go insane right after this. Insane tournament. It's only fair. I mean, we're, we're dominating the opposition. <laughs> it's, it's really you know what? They're they're doing a decent job, but look at how many zombies are crawling right there. They're kind of hard to see. Like, I think there's maybe 15 to 20 zombies right there. Or it sure seemed like it. All right. It seems you are my intellectual superior. Yes, Wesley. I have read many leather-bound books, and my, my office here smells of mahogany. Wow. You got a new chest. Okay. That's good. Please. We unlocked a new chest. It's only fair. Now we get we get the trumpets. One of the best parts in the game is the trumpets. Da, 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 da. I wonder how many minutes that entire tournament was. It was it was maybe a little bit too easy. <laughs> but I mean, I didn't know what to expect. Now I do. We're gonna collect this chest and we're gonna open it. And I'm gonna get a skeleton skin. Dang it! I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Ugh, nothing. Dang it, man. Okay, so what do you guys think? This is a game changer. Now, the question of the video is gonna be this. Well, mainly, what do you wanna see in the next video? Which skin should I spend my next 2,000 gems on, right? 2,000 gems, 1890, Ooh. So this full skin set's like, what, close to 100 bucks? Woo, hot dog, I gotta get back to work. Oh wait, I am working right now. Oh, look at that, they show the little sprite sheet on it now. Is that new or has it always been that way and I've just missed it? I'm genuinely curious about that. Kinda worried if it's always been there and I've just missed it. But my God, 
That Spearton skin definitely looks the coolest. Is it cooler than this? Ooh, it's pretty close. It's very close. Hades is the god of the underworld, right? So he'd have this. And uh, who's the god of lava and volcanoes? Forgot his name, dang it. But I know I've said it in previous videos. Yeah, so let me know which skin we should get next. Thank you for watching another episode of Stick War Legacy. Let me know what skin you think would be cool to add to the game. Right now, I'm thinking I would really go into like the uh, ancient, like, Greek gods and goddesses. I would play into that. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.